Hey! So I thought I'd try a little, something a little bit different today and instead of filming at my computer I'm filming in my room from my phone so that's exciting and what else is exciting? I have a new book review for you! Um, so this one is Happy Face by Stephen Eamond. I read it yesterday in the day the whole day. I started on the train in the morning and I finished it at night and yeah it's um it's a good book if you like having your heart ripped out thrown on the floor and then jumped on several times it is beautiful and devastating and it really pissed me off um so I'll tell you a bit about it first happy face is the story of a character male character known only as Happy Face um, and it's his uh, diary and basically he moves to a new school um, a couple of towns over and decides that instead of being the shy gamer he's going to be out there and happy and he's going to show everyone that he can fake it till he makes it. Um, so yeah, um, so the story is set out like a diary so um, just show you so like he draws pictures of his new home um and the get you a close-up of the handwriting so it look so it actually looks like handwriting so that's like a really nice touch and i it just pulled me right in made me feel like i was in the story um so i went through a lot of emotions in this in this reading um i read it in four sessions so i read it before uni, I read it in my break, and then I read it on the way home from uni, and then I read it when I was home from uni, so, um, yeah, and, um, I'm glad I read it when I got home from uni, because, um, if I'd read it on the train today, I would have cried in front of people, instead of just on my couch in my room, so, that's a plus, I guess, um, so yes, um, what really, really pissed me off was actually the character of Happy Face. He was a liar, he was manipulative, he was, um, he was just, he wasn't very likeable. And what changed my mind about him was the fact that he realised all this in the end and he apologised and he tried to make amends and basically yeah all the pissed off I got was basically because I recognised it and thought it was just going to end up like another ridiculously entitled or someone who thinks he's ridiculously entitled male character and it wasn't like that at all even though he did kind of get his friends back and maybe he shouldn't have but you know but um it doesn't sound like it'll be sad but it's definitely very very sad um take my word for it please if it wasn't sad it wouldn't have the title happy face um no I did love it I'm giving it five out of five stars and if you've read it um let me know what you think because I did absolutely absolutely love it. I was filled with secondhand embarrassment, I was cringing, I was crying, it made me feel everything, it made me laugh. Um, and also another good book is Wintertown by Stephen Eamond. Um, he doesn't have that in handwriting and it's not a diary but he does have his own illustrations in that as well and it is very good. Um, but I think I like Happy Face more even though it made me cry. It made me cry. Don't read it if you like not being sad. Um, but check me out on Goodreads and check me out on Tumblr and um, yeah, um, recommend any books you think I'd like to read. Um, I'm currently reading Moon Over Soho by Ben Aronovich, uh, which is part of the Peter Grant series. Um, and I ordered five books last week from the book depository. Only three have been sent out, so I don't know what's going on. Um, but I'm very, very excited 
to read those and review them and yeah, let's uh, see how it goes. Bye!